how much longer I'll be. No, no, I called my attorney, but he acts like he doesn't know a thing about it. I'll give it a few more minutes. Oh, have those papers from Suzanne come in? Okay, all right. I'll call her when I get back. Heaven knows she's had enough time. Looks like someone's finally coming. I'll talk to you when this is over. Thank Whatever. you all for coming. Bye. This shouldn't take more than a minute. Please, take a seat. We'll get right down to business. A gentleman by the name of Frank Thomas recently passed away, naming each of you in his will. Who was this? Frank Thomas. He was keeper of the lighthouse out on the point. Uh, excuse me, but I think I must have been called here by mistake, because I didn't know this man. Me either. Me either. Frank Thomas. I, neither did I. Yeah. Well, it's my understanding that many of you would not remember him, but he remembers you or someone very close to you. So... How much did the poor sap leave? Oh, yes, you're right. <laughs> he wasn't a man of much means. But he did leave each of you an envelope. Can you beat that? This is my lucky day. Right. Richard Marks. Yes. John Griffin. Here. Donna Wilkins. Steve Nielsen. I'm here. Barbara Wortley. I'm Barbara. Uh, Thomas Christensen. Right here. Jennifer Lee. That's me. Paul Johnson. Down here. Oh. Wait a minute. What is this? Is this some kind of a yeah. Did my wife put you up to this? Please, calm down. I assure you that this is not a joke. Each inheritance, no matter how insignificant and trivial, was of great value to Mr. Thomas. He went through a great deal of trouble to put these into your hands. As I understand it, each object represented a turning point in his life. So let him keep them. Yeah. Uh, each of you will find a letter in your folder from Mr. Thomas, explaining to you the value of his gift. Now, although I can't force you to keep these endowments, at least feel an obligation of courtesy about reading his letter. After that, you can do as you please. Thank you for being here, and have a good day. Mr. Griffin, many years ago, before beginning work at the lighthouse, I was miserably unemployed with a young family to feed. I was down to my last few dollars. Essential groceries that day came to $16.90. When I reached for my money, it was gone. I was humiliated and heartbroken. As I took my wife by the arm and started to leave, someone touched me. John, that man was your late father. I was only one minute in his presence, but I'll never forget him. He didn't have much either, but he had something I really needed. He had character. I spent the last 50 years trying to pass on all he gave me in that single one-minute encounter. John, I'm now returning the money your father gave me long ago. Now you carry the baton. Sincerely, Frank Thomas. Dearest Mrs. Williams, I never thank you for the difference you made in my life many years ago. I was watching from the lighthouse the day you lost your daughter on the beach. Daddy! 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 
What a sad day it was. Though you didn't notice me, I cried along with you. Oddly, we lost our own child not long after yours. She was my inspiration and my life. Her loss was more than I could accept. I became very bitter. Life lost its luster. Months passed, but the dark cloud stayed with me. It hung over me like a shadowy shroud. And then... Beautiful day, isn't it? Would you like a flower? Yes, for your loved one. There. You dealt with your loss and were able to carry on. Your smile gave me the courage to go on as well. And your flower has been my constant reminder to keep my head up regardless of the storm. Thank you, Donna. I'll give your darling daughter a hug and a kiss when I see her. God bless. Frank Thomas. Thank you. Dear Richard, your shell is the one object I valued most. I felt it was finally time I returned it. You see, many years ago, this shell belonged to you. You were young, recently married, and hopelessly in love. As I happened to pass you on the beach that day, you didn't notice me, but I couldn't help noticing you, how happy, how dedicated to each other you and your young bride were. You made me quite envious, you know. My own marriage was fading fast, but you two set my mind racing back to a time when we were totally in love, like you, and very happy. As I watched you, I heard a phrase I had forgotten how to say. I love you. I've heard your words every time I've looked at that shell. It's given me the courage to swallow my pride. Thank you for the power of your example and those few well-placed kind words. Frank Thomas Yes, Richard Marks calling for Jeff Goldman. Thank you. This is Jeff. Jeff, it's Richard. Hey, the divorce papers come yet? Yeah, I've got it right here. Say, hold off for a few days. Off? But I thought you couldn't wait. I know, I know. But something's come up. I just need to give it one more try. You feeling okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm feeling fine. Actually, I haven't felt this good 
in a long, long time. Okay, hey, your line. Thanks. See ya. Let's see here. Um, parts came to 198. Labor was 230. Total comes to 447 with tax. Oh. Something wrong? I had no idea it would cost this much. Well, we are very competitive with everyone else no, in town. I'm Our sure you are. are. We just don't have that much money right now. My husband just got back to work. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't even have a credit card right now, but maybe I could make some payments. Um, look. Okay, what if... I've got um, a couple hundred and I could, I could pay you some next month. What if we month. take off the labor? Will that work? You can't do that. Well, I'm the boss. I can do whatever I want. And besides, I did most of the work on that car anyway. So, uh, <sighs> comes to two, 217. Mm. Looks like 200 even. 200. Oh, oh, here. Well, here. Oh. <sighs> Thank you so much. You are so kind. I'll never forget you for this. You know, Somehow I think you're right. Thanks. Have a good day. Take care. The treasure of the moment is in the kindness of your words. Above the doubt and darkness, it was you that I heard. Maybe without no A lighthouse shining, giving me light. With our hands and our hearts, we make the lighthouse shine. In that instant, there's no distance. We can reach the shore tonight. We can show the Like a lighthouse shine The measure of the difference made Was the reaching of your hand When I felt that I had nothing left You gave me strength to stand A baby without knowing Your courage lifted me Like a light Thank you.